Many of the teams in the Allegheny Youth Development Judo class signed up to practice basic self-defense. You grab them and pull them in and then you use this. Beyond training their bodies, these boys and girls are learning principles of self-control that give them a mental and emotional edge. Like when I get mad, I can like calm down more. Because when he has to listen to follow instructions, this helps him as far as being in school as well. University of Pittsburgh psychologist Jamie Hansen studies the brain to document changes that occur after activities that stress self-regulation. Researchers gathered data from over 600 participants in an intervention developed at the University of Georgia and implemented in surrounding communities. It was designed to improve warmth, supportiveness, and positive caregiving between parents and kids living in poverty. Youth had been in this safe condition, the safe intervention, um, had um, fewer behavioral problems. Later, as adults, 100 of the participants underwent brain scans. Hansen examined the two parts of the brain he says are important in self-regulation, the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex. Even years later, positive brain changes were still evident. We found enhanced um, activity or enhanced communication between these two brain regions in um, the intervention group. Hansen says parents can support the development of self-regulation through responsive parenting and helping their kids develop concrete goals and plans for the future. Learning self-regulation one step at a time. I'm Nancy Alvarez reporting.